Hey everyone, it's Belinda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something pretty exciting. Color changing roofs. Thermochromism is the property of materials to change color with the change in temperature. You see examples of this in everyday life. You can buy t-shirts that change color when you touch them. You can also make color changing slime at home. I found this pretty disturbing thermochromic bathroom tiles on the internet. But the most common thing people own are thermochromic coffee mugs such as this one. Now this color changing isn't magic, it's based in science and I'm going to explain how it works. I bought this thermochromic pigment of Amazon, I'll link it in the description below. And it's supposed to change color from black to yellow at 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. I'm going to be mixing it with this Liquitex gel medium. I bought this from Michaels, but you can probably find it on Amazon too. Let's see how it works. So here are all the materials I need. I have the gel medium, the thermochromic pigment that I showed you earlier, a plastic cup and a stick for mixing, two small pieces of wood and a paintbrush. I'm going to start off by putting some of the gel medium in the cup and then adding the pigment to it. Now I have no idea what the ratios are supposed to be, so I'm just going to make it up as I go. This mixture seems to be about right. Um, now that I have enough of it, I'm going to paint it onto these two small pieces of wood. Now several coats later, this is what the two pieces look like. Now I'm going to refrigerate the piece on the left so that its temperature drops below 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. The piece on the right, I'm going to let that air dry out in the sun. So here's what these two pieces look like after 30 minutes. The piece on the left that was refrigerated is black, while the piece that was out in the sun is yellow in color. Now here's the really cool part. I'm going to heat up the black piece with the hair dryer. You can see that once the heat source is applied, the pigment immediately turns yellow. But as soon as the heat source is taken away, it turns black again. Now another name for this thermochromic pigment is leucodye. So how do these leucodyes work? The thermochromic ink of the pigment contains really small capsules, each holding a colorant, an organic acid, and a solvent. So in the diagram that you see on the left, at cool temperatures, the solvent is in a solid state, thus keeping the colorant and the acid close together. This reflects light and creates the black color that we see. However, at warm temperatures, the solvent warms up, so the colorant and acid separate and you don't see any visible color. This exposes the layer underneath, which is why we see it as yellow. Now we can use the same concept of thermochromism for the roofs of buildings. If we paint on a layer of thermochromic coating over the roofs of our buildings, in cold weather when the ambient temperature is less than the critical temperature of the pigment, this coating would appear to be dark in color. It would absorb more solar heat and help reduce heating loads. However, in summer, when the ambient temperature is higher than the critical temperature of the pigment, this thermochromic coating would appear to be transparent or translucent and it would expose the light colored roof underneath. More solar heat would be reflected, thus reducing cooling costs in the buildings. We already know the advantages of white roofs or even light colored roofs. These roofs reflect solar heat in summer, which helps reduce cooling loads. So that in turn helps reduce energy consumption and use of fossil fuels. But at the same time, these white roofs can prove to be detrimental to the building in winter, where you want to absorb the solar heat and reduce your heating loads. So what if you could have a roof that changes from being reflective in summer to being transmittive in winter? light colored in summer and then black or dark colored in winter. So this thermochromic pigment can help us create smart roofs, one that can change physical properties based on weather and external conditions without requiring any additional resources like electricity. The great thing about thermochromism is that it's a completely reversible process. There's no need for upkeep or reapplication of the leucodi. It'll help save fuel and electricity and reduce emissions from volatile organic compounds from petroleum-based roofing products. I found some initial research out there that proposes using waste cooking oil to produce thermochromic roofs or smart roofs, but I haven't found an actual product. I'm sure there's a product like this that will probably come out in the market soon 
This is an exciting field that has a huge potential to help reduce energy costs of buildings. Let me know what you think about thermochromism and if you use these dyes on any other products, do let me know. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm Belinda. This is Automation in Building Construction. Thanks for watching.